Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. We are gonna give you a quick run through on how to use Relay Classroom uh, for distance learning. Uh, we're gonna use Relay Classroom together with Google Classroom and Zoom meetings. We'll use Google Classroom for assignments and we'll use the Zoom meeting for some FaceTime with students, check in with them and uh, some communication tools. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and get started with a Zoom meeting with my students. Uh, since it's sometimes uh, difficult to get all your students on the same page, I'm gonna use the Relay Classroom tool here. It's called the Send Link tool. I'm gonna to click on this. I'm gonna put in the URL for the Zoom meeting today and I'm gonna push that out to my students really quickly. And for demo purposes, we're gonna be looking at students Glinda, Oscar, and Luna. As you can see, they are all online and they have all been sent the Zoom link and that's the current tab that they should be in. I'm gonna pull up that Zoom meeting right here. All my students are here in our Zoom meeting. Uh, I have all my students ready to go on mute. As you can see here at the bottom of their screens, they're each muted. Um, I can go ahead and unmute them as needed. I'm gonna check in with them. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Doing good, that's good to hear. All right guys, so today we're going to work on a quick assignment. Um, in just a moment, I'm gonna send you an article that I would like you to be reading. Uh, we're gonna answer some questions on a Google Doc in Classroom, and then we're gonna finish up today. Does that sound good? Okay, so I'm gonna put my students right here in the corner. I'm gonna go to the article that I would like them to be looking at today. I'm gonna copy that. And like I said, it's difficult to get everyone on the same page sometimes. So I'm gonna use that send link tool one more time. I'm gonna paste that in here and I'm gonna go ahead and push that out. Again, we're looking at Glenda, Oscar, and Luna. As you can see, they're all getting straight to that assignment, which is great. They are reading that article that I sent them. And right here in the dashboard, I can go ahead and monitor all the things that they're doing on their screens. I can see right here that my student, Glinda, she seems to be having a little bit of trouble. Oh, but she's now going to Google. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go check on her screen. I see that she's doing some questionable things. Oh, now I see it live in the dashboard that she's Googling for cool math games. So what I can do here in Relay Classroom is I can actually go ahead and close that tab. So I'm gonna close that and that will send her right back to where she's supposed to be in her article, which is great. Thank you, Glenda, for getting right back where you need to be. Um, okay, so now what I would like everyone to do, all my students, I'd like you to go ahead and get to the Google Classroom. Uh, there's an assignment there for you. Oh, before they do, I see that my friend Luna needs help. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Luna's screen. I see that she's got everything under control here, but she's marked as needs help. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back into Zoom here and I'm gonna use the chat feature. So I'm gonna see right here on my screen that it pulls out a chat. I have the option to send a message to everyone or I can pick who I'd like to. Today, my friend Allison is playing the role of Luna. So I'm gonna reach out to her. I'm gonna say, what do you need help with today? And again, that message is going privately to Allison. So no one else knows that there might be an issue. Okay, great. So she just wanted to tell me that she thinks this is amazing. Thank you so much for that comment, Allison. So again, I'm gonna minimize my Zoom meeting and keep you right here. So now that Luna doesn't need help, I'm gonna go ahead and close that out and her screen go back to normal. So again, if everybody could get back to the Google Classroom assignment and open today's document, that would be great. So I can see that my students right here in the dashboard are getting back to their assignment, which is a Google Doc, which is great. In Relay Classroom, I'm actually going to limit them a little bit. I'm gonna turn it into explore mode so they can have a little bit of flexibility. They can still check out that article and use that for their assignment. But I'm also going to have the ability to block certain websites. Since I know that one of my students was really interested in going to cool math, I'm gonna add this to my blocked sites. And I'm gonna check this box right here that when a student changes their status to done, 
they can set their web rules to none. So this will web rule will go away once they are completed and they can go ahead and start playing some educational games and that's okay. All right, so I'm going to apply that. So all my students should be in docs. I see that, oh, Miss Luna is done and Glenda is done. That's great. So since Glenda is done, at this point, she has the flexibility now to get onto cool math games without getting blocked since she is, again, marked as finished, which is great. All right, so it looks like all three of my students are now done with their assignments. So I'm going to come back and see you guys and check back in after our assignment. All right, so thank you everybody for participating and thank you all for mostly staying on task. Um, so for the last part of class, what I want you to do is do some silent reading. Since I would like you to be reading and not messing with your devices, on Relay Classroom, I'm going to lock your screens. And then once that 10 minutes is up, I will go ahead and unlock your screens and you will have full use of your device again. Does that sound good? All right, so I'm going to go into Relay Classroom again. I'm going to go to More Options. I'm going to press Screen Lock and I'm going to go lock their screens, apply that. So now whenever I go and visit my students' screens, you can see that it has been locked by the teacher. They won't have access to it until I go back into Relay Classroom, screen lock, and unlock. And once they're done, they can explore the device as usual. Again, you can use this Zoom meeting to check in with your students um, if you want to do a live class. If you just want to do it on your own and record, you can also do that and download the video to share on Google Classroom, email, a YouTube channel, anything like that. And then you can share all of your resources.